um, the Saturday before I came in and got saved on that Sunday. And it was this nice plush carpet. We had, we had pews. We had in the little back of the church, there was just a little, um, there was a little vestibule that you walked into. It was just a little entryway. And over to the left, there was, uh, the bathroom. And over to the right, there was this, this little tiny room that was the nursery. It couldn't have been more than, um, six or seven feet square. It was small. And then there was the main aisle up to the front. They had Pastor Drow would preach. We had ramps going up to the um, altar because we had a brother there that was in the wheelchair. He's since gone on to be with Jesus. But it was it was a tiny church, but God came down in that church. We had door scenes. We had music scenes in that church. People would come in and get saved. It was glorious. And then through the through the time, um, we eventually, Pastor Drought had a vision, <laughs> thank God, and he got the building downtown that we were at for so long, and right by the library, and we turned that building into a church, and God did some wonderful things, so it's been a privilege to be part of what God's doing through the years. We were in the building downtown for 16 years. Uh, we moved in when I was pregnant with Lauren. We moved out when she was 16, and we've been over where we currently are since then, like Pastor said, about 20 years. So it's been a journey. It's been a wonderful thing. I've always kind of missed being on the street, on Main Street, ever since we've been over there. Uh, you know, downtown, we did some wild things, and it was fun, 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 fun. And I miss that so much about where we are now, and I miss that just... We did some radical things, and I miss that. And so it's good. We're going to have a lot of exposure. We're going to, in the college, and so much. And so I'm so grateful to be part of what God's doing. Hallelujah. Thank God. Let me, before we introduce next testimony, let me just say, uh, I go on record and vow that this will be the last Halloween we don't have a haunted house forever. So it was just knocking on a door last Saturday, Dan said, and uh, on outreach, and they said, the Potter's house, oh, that's where they do the haunted house. We haven't done a how, how, how long? At least 10 years we haven't had a haunted house. And so they're my passion. If you, if you weren't here then, not only did I write them, but they were my passion. I love doing haunted houses. And so we're getting, we're, this remodel, we're doing nothing short. Uh, we're not shortchanging anything. We're getting full on sprinkler systems so we can legally have a haunted house. Amen. And, uh, we're going to do everything correctly. And uh, it's going to be, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be a mighty building when it's said and done. And so, uh, but in that, uh, just after uh, being on Hopi and Allen, they moved down. And some of you seen, I think now it's an art gallery or something, but they turned that into, but uh, they moved down uh, further uh, down on Main Street. It was on the corner of Main and Allen. And uh, to testify about uh, what God did in their lives in that time, we're going to have Albert Gonzalez come. First of all, I want to thank God for my salvation. I got saved August in 1984. That's 36 years ago. Now, my wife actually got saved one night before I did. She used to, when I was working graveyard, she would stay with Ken, uh, with Carol, and they would read the Bible and do a bunch of study and everything. She surrendered that night before I did. And uh, the next morning I came from graveyards, work, you know, half asleep, and she tried to tell me about what she had did that night before. She tried to tell me that she gave her life to Christ. But I was too tired. I said, I don't want to listen. She goes, well, I'm going to serve him with or without you. I had no idea what she was talking about at the time. Okay, that night came, Ken Hallam and I were carpooling. He came and picked me up, and we're driving down Apache Street. I can still remember. He looks at me. Hey, I heard your wife got saved last night. In my mind, I said, oh, my, what did she do this time? <laughs> me, me. Meanwhile, God was still dealing with me because Ken, when I first moved here in 1984, I went on his shift and we became instant friends. And he would witness to me. He would invite me to outreaches and so forth. And I keep putting it away. And now I got other things to do. But in, in the mean, and meanwhile, I was just stubborn. Anyway, on the way to church, on the way to work, he tells me, Albert, is it, what about you? Are you ready to give your life to Christ? And I got scared. And I said, 
God, we are real. I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. So we prayed on the way to work. That was 36 years ago. And it's been a... He blessed me tremendously. He blessed our marriage. We were going through problems when we're in Clayton. We moved here in, August, we moved here in March of 84. August of 84, we got saved. I can only thank Carol for not giving up on us and Ken Hallam. Anyway, since then, that's been 36 wonderful years of blessing. God bless me, all, you know, almost every area you could think of. And right now, I am so proud to be part of the Farmington Church. I thank God for every all of you. I love you all, and God bless. Amen. Oh, thank God. Let's give him praise. Father, we thank you. Lord, we give you glory and praise, God, for the work of the cross. Thank you, Lord, for these tremendous words. Amen. One last testimony in the building there on uh, Gladden, where we are currently at. Uh, that's my whole tenor. Uh, tenure has been in that building, and so the things that we've seen and, and the things that we've uh, been a part of in that, fellow, in that, in that uh, building have been an incredible privilege for me to be able to call myself your pastor. It's been a blessing for me to be able to be your pastor. And in that 18 years of, of service, uh, I look back with it in incredible pride and joy and gratitude and humility in all that God is going to do. And uh, all the people, many, most of our church, uh, younger people were saved in that building. And I've asked one of them to come and testify. Let's give uh, uh, Janet uh, Archibek a, a round of applause as she comes. Hello, my name's Janet Archibek. Um, my husband and I were saved in Winslow. I think it was like 14 years ago. Um, we were pretty messed up on meth. Um, we moved to his grandma's house and she's been going to the Potter's house since Randall was like a baby. Um, he had gotten in a car accident, so we didn't have anywhere to go. So we ended up moving to her house. And I was pregnant with uh, with Burrito, my youngest, and she was having Bible study at her house. And I got saved at her house, and I got baptized when I was pregnant with, with Burrito. After I had him, um, I ended up backsliding and getting back into drugs, and uh, we lost our kids. Um, and then... We went to jail. We got him back within a month. Well, I ended up getting him back. Randall had to move in with his grandma for a while. And then um, we started going to church and we got really radically saved. Like God just changed us completely from that moment on. And we got our kids back within a month. Um, and then Randall started working for CPS, um, drug testing other couples and helping them out. And then a few years later we decided that we wanted to move to Farmington and we prayed about it and we felt like this is where God wanted us to come. So we moved here and he was working in um, in Shiprock and Cayenta and Window Rock for McDonald's and a year later they asked us to move to uh, some little town and you know we were really sad about it and we talked to pastor and he was like well I think you know this is where God wants you guys and we decided that we weren't going to go that we were going to we were going to stay here, and I mean, um, we just took a leap of faith, and we said we weren't going, and um, he ended up getting another job with, an, with the other company that he's working with now, running one store, making way more than what he was making, um, and yeah, and then, well, he had like a, I, what is it called, like a W. I something I don't know he had some money saved up from that job so we didn't know what to do with it and he asked pastor what should I do with it and he's like well you should get your your wife her green card and we did and I became a resident and uh, and I became a citizen and it you know um, we bought our first home and I and I think that was just for you know for us being faithful and God just really moved in our lives and I'm just really thankful for it and I'm really excited to see what God is going to do in this building and where he's going to take us next. Amen. Amen. One last testimony real quick. I'm going to have Ashley Campos. Uh, she, where's she at? Can you
can you grab her for me? We're gonna have Ashley Campos come and testify. She got uh, saved in, in this building. In this, uh, I remember she said 12 years, she just gave her testimony a week ago. So we're gonna have her give her testimony what Jesus has done for her in uh, Farmington. Hi, so I was just giving a tour inside, but it's so good to see that we're getting a, a church. Um, you know, I saved in here um, 12 years. November will be officially 12 years and actually coming to the church and being baptized in the back and everything. I was just I was just thinking about, you know, the 12 years that we spent here in Farmington that our kids were able to enjoy all the stories from, you know, downtown. You guys grew out of that one, then went up towards Gladden. And it's just like, wow, our kids are going to say, when we were over there, remember by McKinley? Now we're over here. So it's just amazing because God has done so much, not only in my family's lives, but a family church, you know. I mean, look at us now. Look at where we're at. We're still here. We're able to get through how many months away. Just, just you know, getting everybody together. Look at this is a family. This is what family is really like. And I re just want to say thank you guys so much, you know, coming from we got saved and we were living in our car and God started blessing us with apartment and kids. You know, we try, we were trying to have kids and now we have two two other kids kids and we have three all together and they're going to be raised in this church it's just amazing to see what god's going to do with the couples and family and everybody you know launching out couples and i'm believing we're going to send overseas you know like i'm really thinking about like talking to dan on the way this way and i was like i won't tell liz what i said but it was like you know it's just amazing thank you guys it's i wasn't planning on testifying <laughs> Praise God. So, obviously this church is uh, Catholic, or was Catholic, not anymore. It's a Pentecostal church. But we're going to right now all join together. I mean, you know, we have power over serpents and scorpions. Yes. And so we understand that Catholicism, these aren't evil people by any means, but they believe totally different than we do. In this place, it would have been filled with idols and saints and uh, priests and confessions. And so that is uh, obviously something. It's a different spirit. We're going to pray right now over this building. We're going to cast out every spirit of uh, Catholicism, every spirit that's contrary. We're going to pray blessing on this congregation. We're going to ask God to pour out His Spirit in this church. We're going to be able to send churches to the nations out of this building. We're going to be able to touch the city of Farmington in this building. Let's pray over it together and then when we uh, close I'm going to have Emmanuel come and seal that in prayer. Father God, we come before you right now. God, we're asking you to move in the power of the Holy Ghost. We bind all witchcraft, all false religion, idolatry God we pray right now the blood of Jesus would be over upon this building front back and sides got every corner nook and cranny the blood of Jesus would cover over this building God this building project we dedicate it to you we're asking you God for handfuls of purpose and blessing God in the upcoming months Father God, just thank you, God, this opportune time to give you all the praise and all the glory what you've done in this church, this congregation, God. Your hands be upon this building, God, as we serve you, God, to reach other nations, God, and this city, God. We pray for revival in the name of Jesus. We give you all the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, so symbolically, we're going to join together. We're going to turn some dirt. Uh, and then after that, we're going to ask you, how many of you know this church is not going to be built by me or the council? It's going to be built by every single one of us. The Bible says, my house shall be called a house of prayer. We're going to put this box into the ground right after we do this. And then uh, we're going to have, before the price of admission for eating, is that you would do your part. Take a shovel and uh, take some dirt, put it on top of the box. We want everybody, young people, older people, elderly, doesn't matter who you are, we're asking everybody to get involved because it's going to take us all. Can you say amen? Yes. We're asking everybody to take a shovel and throw some dirt on top of these uh, prayer requests. And so I want uh, we got all, everybody here, we're going to uh, turn some dirt. So this is our council, that uh, our faithful church council, and uh, Dan Hallam on the count of three. Let's turn some dirt. One, two, three. 
Let's give God praise. Father, we thank you. Lord, we give you praise. We give you honor. We give you glory. We thank you, Lord, for this opportunity. In Jesus' name. Amen. I want uh, uh, Nate to come put this in the hole. And then uh, we're going to start a single file line. Just come, throw some dirt on the box. Also, let me just say uh, this again is the highlight of my uh, being a, as my, my my tenure here. This is the most. This isn't just a building for us. This is a vision of what God is going to do. Can you say Amen? And I want to tell you this again is the most exciting announcement I've made since I've been here. And we're looking forward to seeing all that God's going to do in this building. Now let's party, let's have some fun, let's eat some food, and let's all do our part to build the kingdom of God. Um. Next. Got it? As soon as you do your shovel, if you go ahead and go inside and get a line for the food. Here you go. Oh, where's my wife? <laughs>